and a very warm welcome for the reading for the week ahead beginning Monday the 28th of June 2021. The deck I have been drawn to use is the Angel Tarot by Radley Valentine. So I sit here connecting myself to Mother Earth and Father Spirit and we're calling in our angels, our archangel spirits and guides, ascended masters and ask them to step forward and to be with us and to let us know what message of knowledge, wisdom, insight that we need to have for this week. We, we may mess, res, resonate with the first card or all of the cards. You may not resonate with the cards until the middle of the week or the end of the week, but it's just a message that will help you with a heads up on what may happen so we're connecting with our angels and asking them what is it we need to know so let's start shuffling we've got one card already another one Another one. I like it when it happens so quickly. We actually have three cards for this week ahead. We have the Eight of Water. Water is all about your emotions. And when you are talking about your emotions, it's how you are feeling within. And then when whatever is the environment that is out around you, is if you um how the environment will affect your emotions or with your emotionally emotions will affect the environment around you. It's a two-way thing. We also have the three of fire. Fire is all about your your passion, how eager and willing you're working are working towards something. So first of all, we have the eight of water and we have the desire to move on. You can see the merman perhaps moving away from all those cups. The cups represent water. But the cups of things and it's like, yes, he's got all what he is now, but he just knows there's something not right. And he feels that perhaps to be able to move on in his life, he may actually have to physically move away or move away from the situation or move his thinking away from the situation to enable him to grow and and enhance his vibration. It's like he's feeling that he now needs to feel something that's more um more meaningful in his life yes he may have got lots of riches around him but he may think yes I've got all this money but deep down I'm still not happy what is it that I'm wanting so yes he's got all this riches around him in his environment but within him something's not right so he needs to go searching so what is it when you look at your life and you think you know I've got this I've got that but something's still missing Perhaps it's time to look to see what it really is, because you can have so much money. But if you're really on your own, it doesn't mean anything. So what is it this week? Look at your environment. Look at where you are. And you're going, yes, I've got this job and it's earning me great money. But you know what? I really hate the job itself. Yes, the money is good. But, you know, I hate the job. I'm being bullied or I don't feel there's any promotional thing. So maybe that's where you've got to think is, you know, maybe it's time to move from that job to a different job. Maybe you're in a relationship where you feel, yes, I'm in a relationship. And it's a controlling or maybe you're the controller. Whatever it is, you're in a situation that on the outside it looks really good, but within it's like it's not sitting comfortably. And that's what you need to look at it, because maybe this is where the unity card where you're looking at traditional viewpoints. Oh, I've got to do this, got to do that, because that's what my parents do. That's what my peers do. That's what people around me, the tradition, this is how. But you're thinking it's not right. It's not what I want to do. It doesn't make me happy. You know, people say, oh, well, you know, you go and get a job, work from nine to five. You get a partner, you have kids, blah, blah, blah. But maybe you're suddenly thinking, you know what? I'm a bit of a new age person. Maybe it's like I don't want kids. I don't want that ambition. I just want to be comfortable. So you're breaking away from the tradition. And it's OK. It's OK to honour the past traditions. But if it doesn't sit comfortably with you, perhaps this is why you're having to move away this week. Now, remember, we are going from June to July. We are going from um, the end of a month the end of something and we're going to go into something new, new and exciting, a new month. So we've got the three of fire because they're saying there's abundance everywhere and she's just on the start of her journey. 
starting on the journey leading into abundance yes it may not be perfect there may be hills and bumps and bruises along the way so this could almost be a perfect reading because we're going this week we're going from june to july what have you created with june and it's like yes it's worked but it's not right maybe i need to move away from those traditional thoughts move away from those things and start anew because whatever it is it's time to make a new it's going to be an abundance, but you may have to remove move yourself from where you are at the moment. Move your way from those negative thoughts. Maybe you're constantly thinking, oh, I'm no good because traditionally people go, oh, well, you know, she's no good. She never did any good at school. She didn't do this. She was no good. She was quiet. She's shy. And then you fill into that tradition of that's what they say you are. You're no good. You didn't do very good at school. So you think you're no good at it. Well, maybe it's time to move away emotionally and step into something new. And when you flip that, but rather than start thinking, I'm no good, I've got no confidence, go, I have got confidence, I have got self-belief. And when you flip it, you're starting a new journey because you're changing your way, you're changing the vibration, something new. And when your vibration moves to a higher level, that is creating this wonderful abundance. And it's just like, yes, you have to have a bit of patience because this is three and you're just starting off because you're just flipping the way you're thinking. You're flipping, moving away from what's holding you back. And it says, seek out people who can help you raise yourself. And when you just change, you'll move yourself from the situation you're in. Flip it. Don't get rid of it. Don't be, just go grateful. I've been there. Acknowledge it. Accept what you've learned, release what you don't know and embrace it. And then we have a future full of abundance, which is great because we're starting with July in the middle of the week. It's really good. End of one month, the start of your new time to reflect on what's happened in June. We've also had the first six months of the year. Reflect back what's happened over this first six months. Wow, we're now starting our next six months of the year. What can you what have you learned? What is good to carry on and which you can embrace? What didn't happen? What was good bad? Time to let go. We can have a clean slate. We've got a brand new six months ahead of us. And a lovely reading for this week. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to say, press like, share and subscribe because someone out there may benefit from this reading. If you'd love to have your own reading, especially coming up for July, message me how to contact me or in the comments below. And I'd love to do a reading for you for the month of July. Take care and namaste. All the best. Bye.